The trusty fish farm. This is just pathetic. We can do better than this. definitely has its issues but it's it's better than that one thing I had <laughs> um, so ever since I saw these bubble columns I always thought I wanted to implement some sort of like fishing technique with them um, this is obviously has some things to iron out on it but this is just like a very rough layout of what I was going for like that right there some of these fish are able to fight the current which of course they are fish so I can understand that but um it relatively gives you some stuff here and there so maybe eventually if uh i should probably put like something different there oh they're getting over it too yeah i, I gotta mess with it but i i kind of like it <laughs> we got ourselves a realistic fishing oh, get. oh my god that sounded too close for comfort Oh god. What is happening to my lawn? It's only in this area too. Oh, it's around the trees. Wait a minute. Why is it Why is it doing this? <laughs> I get is that just part of these trees now I'm guessing? It it kind of makes sense though because there's shade above it. That's interesting. I kind of like it in some way. But hey, welcome back everyone to another episode of our Let's Play. Today we're going to be doing that thing I kind of mentioned last episode, which is working on uh, probably like three different projects today, just a little bit on each one. And uh, I've been kind of looking forward to doing that because there's so many, as you know, well, <laughs> a lot of you know, there's many projects in this world that need to be finished. But um, speaking of... <laughs> speaking of the, the first project, I kind of want to work... This is basically like 98% done. But Dallas has organized the library. How amazing is that? This actually took way longer than I thought. So I replaced every chest with barrels just to make it look a bit more clean because with chests I had to have a stair above it and it looked like just crazy. So I ended up putting for these middle sections two on each side and then for these single sections on the side I just have one. And um, they're all organized. All the books, oh, don't have any channeling. Like impaling, I've named all the barrels, and um, in case I get lost and have to look for it sometime, I even made this book over here, um, which is not finished yet. Um, it tells you all the numbers and which where the books are going to be. And of course, I have a second floor. <laughs> so this is all mainly tools, weapons, and all that good stuff. And then up here, all these right here are all armor. Um, and then over here, these ones are going to be dedicated to the comment question of the day books. Go! <laughs> All right, first project on the list is actually not a project, but more of uh, the slime getting lonely. I do have a dog. His name is Pablo Jr. And yes, he may or may not be an offspring of Pablo, which is the first dog in this series ever. And that's this fella right here. And I just don't want to risk bringing this guy around. This is going to be a house dog, the one that we come to every day, the one that's not going to die from, you know, TNT traps or a skeleton in water. So we're going to go get a dog that'll be by our side because um, I like having a dog next to me at all times. Let's do it. I got so scared for a second. I thought one of my chunks in my loaded area got messed up right here. <laughs> when did I? Why is there still blocks on the ground? Forgot all about this. <laughs> We're back in the infamous woods. Oh, that houses a lot of dogs. First try. Second try. Oh, you're picky. Third try. Fourth. Thank you. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Wait, you already hurt. Oh, my gosh. Is that a glitch? I always thought they would like, have a full health as soon as... All right, you're good to go. All right, follow me. Come on, buddy. Got to give you a collar and a name. 
You know what? I don't think I've ever had a dog with a yellow collar. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Welcome to the family, Duke. Don't die. Hey, Duke, look at this place. See, I just built this recently. This is like, this is new. Like, such a new project. I hope you're proud of me. <laughs> ah! Is this not a one shot? Oh, it is. I just didn't pull it back all the way. I made a new bow. It's called the Ebony Bow. You're awesome if you know that reference. Um, and I, I, I've had like many bows I've fished up that have mending on it. And so I just ended up making my most powerful bow I can. Other than infinity, you can't put infinity with mending. So this is like a perfect bow. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Okay, so we just built some of this up. I at least want to finish all the rest of the walls on the third floor today. Let's give that a, well, I don't know about that. I'm just going to go as, as much brick as I can. I think I've already cleaned out this river. By the way, stick around to the end if you want to know my impressions on E3 and the games that have been announced, such as Minecraft Dungeons, because I do have some things to say. <laughs> you know that mine we made recently, right? Like, a few episodes ago? I'm kind of mad at myself. I should have made... Why didn't I make it in the mountain biome? Because you get emeralds, you know? I just saw a baby. Didn't I just see a baby zombie? Go! Hi. Why can't I hit you? Go away. Die, please. Die. Oh, God. Okay. I don't like you being here. So I will take the risk. Die. Please go away. Please don't give me it. Oh, yes. I didn't get it. Woo! Hey, buddy. You're joking. You're joking. I just killed you and your friend. Please don't. Please. Oh god. No! What on earth? Oh my gosh. I have no cows? No, they still grow. They just don't grow on these sides, which is very interesting, actually. Alright, I got three stacks of brick. Let's see what I can do. Well. That's all, <laughs> just that right there. <laughs> all right, so I know this isn't much of an old project to work on, but one new change I really love with the new textures is this wheat. It looks so good compared to the old wheat, and I just love the contrast it gives between my world, especially like trees in the background in this, it looks so good. And this is my only large wheat field around my house and I want to I have so many seeds I want to go around and just like not plant them this big but have some more large wheat fields I'm gonna go scope out some good spots come on Duke okay so for example over here is a good spot I never build over here yet this is quite a good area that I might expand to in the future but right in this general area I'm gonna lower this a bit and then kind of just plant this whole area with some wheat We gotta do an achievement time this episode. We're we're just about getting them all. I think I wanna do this one. This one's the easiest. I could have swore there was an achievement, wasn't there? Yeah, am I missing it? Where you can when you completely use up a diamond hoe, you get an achievement. I could have swore that was one. Gain the trust, observation. Or did I already get it? No, I've never used a full diamond that's Oh, well, I mean, I'm glad there isn't because I wouldn't want to break this. This is my first diamond hoe in this world, and it's still going strong. <laughs> um, okay, I, I better run around for a bit, and then I'll eat some rotten flesh. Help. I'm dying. Achievement time complete. Oh, perfect. Let's try this out. Uh, never in my life would I thought I'd be repairing a diamond hoe, but I'm kind of curious. I've never actually tried putting an enchantment on a hoe. Let's make this a Unbreaking 3 book real quick and see <laughs> if you can put Unbreaking on this, because then it'll last even longer. Should I even do that? We're going to. And then we're going to name it Unbreaking 3. You can. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, okay, I should probably repair it first. Um, should I use two? Oh, no. You can't. Can you not repair a hoe? Wait a minute. 
I looked up on the wiki. It says hoes are renewable. Um, in that achievement, I'm going to make a new hoe here to repair it with that. And that achievement uh, to use up a hoe all the way is on Java Edition. So, can I repair the infamous hoe? Oh, you can. Good. Okay, it's still the original hoe. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm weird like that. All right, we're going to throw that. <laughs> why am I putting this on here? Um, okay, this hoe is going to last us forever. That's why. Um, let's call it the farmer's wand. Farmer's wand. All right, now it'll never break. <laughs> All right, this is kind of what I got so far. Just a little area. I don't know why I'm... Well, I mean, I need a fence around it, but I don't... I guess I don't really need that. This isn't really meant to be farmed. This is just mainly for looks. Okay, so this is the hardest part of it all. Just trying to figure out where I should put water source blocks. I feel... I need one right there. <laughs> and then... Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've never wanted to murder him. Until now. Like, out of all places you could spawn. All. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to murder you because I like you, but I'm going to teach you a lesson, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm doing it. Now what? Huh? Get. Get. That's a, that's a warning, okay? I'm giving you a chance. Just get off of my crops. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll look good there. I could have even made it bigger if I wanted to. Um, I'll probably put a scarecrow in it as well. I think that's kind of silly, though. I think mobs can still spawn. <laughs> Bob don't know what to do now. Killed both of his llamas. He'll go find more, though. Don't worry about that. Um, but, yeah. Kind of Oh, man. See? Oh. This right here. This whole hill right here would look good with wheat. Huh. You know what, actually? This right here. Let me get... Yeah, right here. This seems like it would be a great spot. It would just add some color around here. Yeah, I'm going to plant some wheat right here. You know what, actually? I don't want to cover it all with fences all the time because I want it to be, like, like almost wild. So as if... I don't want it to look perfect either, so I don't mind if animals, like, trample it and whatnot. So Because with a fence here, it looks like just too much going on. But if this was just wheat, I think it would look really good. Only one way to find out. While I'm working on this, might as well go ahead and answer the comment question of the day. It comes from Smooth Yoda. I was trying to find a specific E3 comment, but this is close enough. What are your thoughts on Minecraft Earth? Even though they didn't, they didn't really show that at E3. They showed that at the Apple event, weirdly enough. But um, I'm going to start with E3 first because I actually want to talk about that the most. If you left a comment for that, sorry if I didn't find it. Um, E3 was decent this year. The most game, obviously, well, not obviously, but... The game I was looking forward to most is Cyberpunk 2077 because I'm a huge CD Projekt Red fan. If you guys didn't know, which I'm pretty sure you do because I mention it all the time, I'm a huge Witcher 3 fan. Like I got the collector's edition and everything like that, and I'm sitting here struggling right now uh, trying to get thinking about getting the Cyberpunk 2077 um, collector's edition because I don't need it. I want it. And then I'm right now in my life, I'm trying to find out well, I'm not trying to find out. I'm trying to really tell myself, start getting stuff you need rather than what you want. But it's just, it looks so good. <laughs> so I might end up getting it. It's $250. But that's the only game that stood out to me other than like that crazy, what was it? It's like something about like a Tokyo game. It looked pretty crazy. Um, and a few others, but I, I'm not really going to name them right now. But specifically, well, let me talk about Minecraft Earth first since that's the main question. It's all right. I mean... It doesn't blow my mind like it is everyone else. I mean, if I still played Pocket Edition, this is something I would definitely try out. But as of right now, it's not something I'm going to bring to my channel, if you were curious at all. Um, it's just not my go-to type of thing. I'm, I mean, I may try it out, but it's not something I'm really excited about. And then let's talk about Minecraft Dungeons. Um so I was expecting something entirely different from what they showed and I'm gonna be honest I'm not entirely impressed from what they showed by the trailers I did not know it was gonna be a top-down view type of game and I can't I'm not a top-down view gamer like I, I it's just not my style <laughs> so kind of disappointed to see how that turned out uh, most likely won't be playing that on my channel um, so that kind of sucks <laughs> 
Like, I actually thought Minecraft Dungeons was going to be, like, an open-world type of story game within the Minecraft universe. Now, that's what I thought it was going to be, and that's why I was pretty excited for it at first. Oh, and Avengers. Yes, uh, the Square Enix uh, presentation. <laughs> I'm going to admit, I had my really high hopes for that, and it looks decent but it's not really maybe i think i literally think that the thing is is that we're just so used to chris evans robert downey jr and all these guys playing at the avengers and then seeing these new guys just felt weird and off and i think that's what kind of made it look a little strange and we don't even know how it's going to play yet so i guess we'll see so yeah, let me know your thoughts down below and what you think about it. And as well, I want to know, after you put your comment or whatever, let me know what system you play on. I'm kind of curious, like, uh, uh, I don't know, you might play PS4, or do you play Switch mainly? I'm kind of curious about that too, because I've never actually thought about getting a Switch, but it does look kind of fun, considering Witcher just got put on it, which would be interesting. I don't know how they managed to do that. Um, but anyway, back to Minecraft. This looks good. I love that look right there, where it's mixed in with the green. But it also does look good when it's completely full. So I think this will look good once it's done. I actually think it would be even better if I expand it all the way down this way. So let me do that real quick. <laughs> this is a weird change, but I think it'll look good. I'm just not used to big change, I guess. These are my last four seeds of this world, I think. I couldn't find any more, so... Huh, I'm just gonna have to harvest some. Yep, that's that for now. Um, I did kind of want to expand this tree line over here. I got a lot of... Well, I left him back there, but as you know, I've been kind of, let's get up high here, building up this tree line with spruce, as you can see, and I really like it. Um, it kind of divides this random plane area uh, between my house over here, and um, I'm thinking I want to expand across the river and maybe go over that way to that like hill and plant some spruce trees in, well, I don't know. <sighs> it's a tough call, but as you can see, I did some back there. Yeah, I actually want to thicken it up over here. To see, feather falling, one of my favorite enchants. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> just got this left to do, and then we'll be pretty much finished in here. Actually, I still gotta kind of design the roof a bit because it's still kind of strange in a way, if you know what I mean. And I gotta figure out a way, like some sort of door right here because Rick comes out. Or not Rick, just like an iron golem will walk out. But the roof is just stupid right now. <laughs> That's just a weird word to use, but um. It's mentally handicapped, so I gotta fix it. No, I got, I just gotta kind of expand it out, kind of like that. It just looks weird. And then it'll be finished. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, what did we do today? Recap. Oh, yeah, we, we worked a little on that. Like I said, each episode we gotta keep adding on a little bit to that. See, that's what I should have been doing, you know? Imagine how far it would be right now if I just worked on it every bit, a little episode. Oh, Dallas. All right. Well, yeah, like I said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.